Hi, my name is Johan Chavez. I am a nature, birding, and wildlife photography guide based in the beautiful Manuel Antonio area here in Costa Rica. As many of you know by now, I am a proud user of the Sunway Photo products. Um, I've been using gear from these people for a little more than two years now, and I've had the opportunity to test not just tripods, but a couple of uh, gimbal heads out there they have in the market. Now, um, a few months ago, almost eight, nine months ago, I did a, a review video on what they call the dual gimbal head model known as GH03. And at the end of that video, I talk about how uh, the people at Sunway Photo had done an improvement to what they referred to as GH03 Plus model. Um, here on my hand, I have the plate of the GH03. And essentially what they've done is they have created a new plate that has a cradle that can actually rotate. Uh, why have they done so? Well, as you may have recalled from um, the previous videos I have made, one of my complaints is when I have my gear, both camera and scope were angled in the exact same direction, so that when I was aiming at a given subject, say a, a bird in the field, um, my scope would be offset by so many centimeters to the side. And the essence of why I have this type of gear is because oftentimes I find myself in situations where I have a client who is a photographer and maybe their spouse or their companion is an observer. So that uh, carrying two tripods was just a bit of an inconvenience. So with it, we can actually have a camera and a scope. So uh, the biggest problem was essentially that the photographer could have been using my tripod, but then the scope was essentially useless because we would not be aiming at the same subject. That's basically the reason why they had renewed the cradles and what they've done is they have put cradles that you can actually rotate. So you have to release the outermost knob and that releases the tension and you can actually um, turn him so many degrees to the left and so many degrees to the right. The same is true for the cradle on the right hand side. So that when you're using two gears, like whether you're using two telephoto lenses or you're using two scopes, or as in my case, I tend to use a scope on the left hand side and a camera on the right hand side, um, I am now able to rotate him so that both are angled um, and meeting or seeing the exact same subject. Again, that was a big issue with the GH03 version. But um, now the problem has been solved with the GH03 Plus. Uh, keep in mind that if you currently own a GH03, you can actually buy the cradle separately so that you can upgrade your version to the Plus version. Um, so go ahead and check their website and you can actually find this product um, separately. Now, there are many ways I use this head, uh, not just with the scope and, and um, the camera. But one of my favorite areas of photography is macro photography. And one of the issues is there are oftentimes I find myself in the field at night, um, deep in the jungle, and uh, I may not have an assistant or maybe my buddies that I go shoot with are busy. So having this head actually allows me to do a lot of macro photography work, uh, particularly when it comes to small subjects where it can be a little bit technical. Um, so I can use lighting and uh, on the side and then obviously my camera. So just like the GH03 version, the Plus version is pretty much the same body. We have two swing arms that allows you to mount two cameras. The controls are exactly the same. Um, here is your locking mechanism for your tilting and here you have a locking mechanism for your panning. Now one of the really nice features of the gimbal heads produced by Sunway Photo is the fact that their tilting and panning uh, knobs have actually a dragging control, right? If you've seen my videos from the GH02 or even the GH03, I've talked about that. So here on the back we do have a knob that essentially allows you to release every tension and you can spin this nice and easy or uh, you can actually apply a little bit of drag which is usually what I would do so that you can have a, a more precise and control movement. Uh, as for the uh, locking mechanism on the panning, um, you can actually pull it out and then you can rotate it so that you can leave the lever in the direction that you prefer. I tend to just keep it horizontally because it's nice and easy, accessible from my thumb. The same is true for the uh, tilting uh, mechanism. You can uh, pull it out of the way. Um, everyone has their preferences. I, I usually just keep it with the larger lobe uh, pointing over here so that my thumb can actually access it nice and easy. Now remember, just like any other gimbal head, you can actually raise the cradles so that you can balance your gear, uh, whether you have a big telephoto or in my case a, a pretty heavy scope where you have a small camera or you're just shooting with a um, wide angle lens for landscape. 
Um, same thing, you can actually pull the lobe out of the way uh, just by pulling it out and rotating it and it pulls it right back in place. Another feature you're going to find on the top of the head is um, it comes with two pins. Um, essentially what these pins do is when you're going to store your gear, um, say you're traveling, you're going to put it in the back of your car and you don't want the swing arms to be uh, released and just moving about, you can just lock the system here and that keeps it nice and steady. Um, let's say you forgot to tie this up or maybe it's been bumping against uh, stuff in your car. If you've left the pins in the center, um, it'll lock the mechanism. That's a really interesting feature. And so we get to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this informative and it helps you to make a decision when you're in the market looking for a gimbal head. May you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you guys with any questions you may have. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.